uh, overall good day. I thought both both sides of the ball had a good practice. Um, guys have got some good energy this week, good focus to them. So overall, pleased with the effort in today's practice. I guess the only question, how Max threw again? He threw good. He really did. Um, he seems to be fine. He really does. Yesterday, he had a good day. Today was a good day. Um, we did uh, keep a pitch count on him again today, but uh, seems to be no effects. He seems to be fine. How has DeMarco looked over the last two weeks? He's, he's doing good. Yeah, he's doing good. Coach, you talk about the wrinkles on defense a lot mm -hmm. uh, and adding and building on those each week. Does that a, same thing apply to the offense? Yeah, they do. Uh, they always uh, tweak how they're tagging things and how they're going to run things uh, week to week and change things up. And yes, there'll be some there'll be some new wrinkles. Does that mean if, if uh, Max is fine, he's starting? No, it doesn't mean that. We haven't decided yet. No, we really haven't. Both guys have been getting equal reps this week because you know just with the pitch count. And with everything else and what we're doing with Jalen. So uh, they've been equal. They've Is DeMarco been back at the punt returning job? We're going to talk about that. He was back there today doing kick returns and punt returns. Yes, he was. Uh, but uh, you know we're pretty thin at that position, so we're going to evaluate the punt return and kick returns as we go here. But he was getting back there getting some work, yes. Mark, you talked about meeting with the team at some point this week to talk uh -huh. about whether or not as a group, they want to do something with the... Yeah, we haven't done that yet. Yeah. yeah. But along those lines, in terms of the purpose of that protest, well, what are your feelings about you know college players having a chance to, to get something from all the money that's made off of their likeness and their... their yeah. Fame? You know, I think, like I said before, without putting a whole lot of thought into it right now, we're so busy in season and everything, of course I would be in favor of giving the players money. I think it's a very complex issue. I think it's a lot harder to do than just say do that, you know, with the amateurism and the, and the whole deal. I mean, of course I'd like to give them money, but I know it really doesn't matter what I think. And uh, and I think that it's it, there's a lot of issues involved in getting that done. So, you know, I think people that act like it's no big deal and act like it's just as easy as giving some money, I think, are living in a different world. It's not that easy. When, play, mean, when so. players start to, to do things like this, though, and speak up and say, you know, we want to be heard, do you think, I think that, that gets has, people's attention? I do. I do. Yep. Since you moved JoJo to the code number one, mm -hmm. have you seen him respond in practice this week? Has he seemed more eager, more? Yeah, he's had, he's had a good week, you know, with uh, when we've gone uh, up against the offense, uh, the defense gone up good, good, good against good. Um, He's had some good runs and, and uh, playing hard and having some energy, so it's always good. You know, I'm a big fan of JoJo, and I love Raymond too. I want Raymond to continue to play well. Mark, did you, when you were at Florida State, did you guys recruit Hargraves, and how good is he? Yeah, I did. We did recruit Hargraves, and I've known the family for a long time. I worked with Vernon at Miami, so uh, I knew uh, Vernon Jr. since he was a young boy, and. Uh, Tremendous family and an unbelievable person and a great player. So he's the whole package, and uh, he's going to be a, a special player. In the game Saturday, Danielson was comparing him to being a possible honey badger down the road. Matthew, does he have that type of uh, ability? I, I think he's going to be his own guy. I think you're going to be just strictly talking about him. I'm not comparing him to anybody. I think he has that kind of talent. He's that kind of a quality person. Should we assume, I guess we should never assume that Ashley will be able to play all year before anything happens with this situation? Yeah, until I, I know, until we get more information on that situation, you, you know, whether it be a trial or a trial, even set trial data, anything, you know, I, I have no information. I'm very little, I have very little information. So, um, until he has a chance to, to go and, and get some more information, I'm going to stay What kind of things has been done that really uh, surprised you? Pardon me? You know, Javis has done a, a very good job. He, as we talked about many times, missing all summer, you know, missing uh, spring ball and missing most of the summer uh, to come in here and be able to pick it up and make plays like he, he has done. Uh, it's been very impressive. I think, you know, when you get here late and you go through all that training camp and you get into the start of the season, you know, they're at a different pace than the rest of our team as far as tra training and conditioning and all those things. So. Um, I think right now it's starting to get, he's starting to really feel comfortable. And uh, 
and hopefully we'll see the results on the field. We'll see him even play better and better. Anything in particular that that's just kind of slow down in that, that process? I just think he's been uh, he's been able to pick things up very quickly, and uh, he's a very natural player. And just what you want, you know. People underestimate instincts and uh, the ability to, to, to make subtle changes and, and uh, play the game, you know, how it's supposed to be played. So I, I feel very good about you. Is this a tough week to, to say we want to lean more on our true freshman running back going up against the, the best, you <laughs> no. know, the number one run defense <laughs> in the country? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. But that's all right. You know, JoJo's not worried about that. You know, he's... He's ready to go play. You know, we, we have a lot of respect for that defense and how hard they play. And, and uh, JoJo's a Florida kid, like you know, so he'll be excited to go play. Are all those mistakes there for your offensive line a good challenge for those guys? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a good, it, it, it's, you know, it's uh, going to be a fun challenge, the first SEC game, and uh, to see where we're at. For all the mistakes that come with freshmen playing freshman players, is that one of the, the flip side of that coin that some of these guys that come in that were big time guys in high school and haven't experienced much failure to exactly. come in and don't don't think about you know it, it, playing it is, against Florida? It is a good thing. They're not worried about the previous 25, 26 games that went on. They're not worried about last year. They don't know anything about it, you know, so they're just worried about coming out here and playing this week. Well, you mentioned pitch count or pitch count for uh, Max Smith. Is uh -huh. it the number of throws or is it the type of throws? The number of throws. And, uh, we, we just talked about it again. Because we're rotating them, it wasn't an issue. So it's not that limited, to be honest with you. We talked about it. He, you know, he, he could have gone the whole time. He probably did as much as Neil wanted him to today, let's put it that way. So because we're rotating. Am I good? Thank you. All righty.